Welcome to the 360 Sports Network Road to the Final Four podcast series, where we break down each and every conference tournament on the way to the big dance to see who will receive the automatic burst to the NCAA tournament, who will the at-large teams be, and whose bubbles might just have burst. Because before we can fill that field of 68, we must first get through the conference championships. I'm James Dotson for 3SN, and we'll be breaking down tonight the Horizon League Championship. Now, the road to the Horizon League will go through Valparaiso for a second straight year. They've earned the number one seed yet again for the conference tournament. All first round games in the Horizon League will be played at the host site of the lower seed, and then winners will all travel to Valparaiso for the second and third round games, with the championship game played at the lowest remaining seed, more than likely at Valparaiso again. Uh, before we talk about the number one seed, there are a couple of the mid-pack teams in the Horizon League that we want to look at. First of all, I want to look at the Green Bay Phoenix, especially Kiefer Sykes and Alec Brown. They lead the way for the team, uh, uh, for the Green Bay Phoenix, because they each shoot 42% from three-point range. Because of that, I'm keeping my eye on them to possibly make a bit of a run here. Uh, they also swept Milwaukee this year. They won by 20 points in both games. So I see Green Bay advancing and possibly could pose some problems down the stretch here in the Horizon League Championship. Another team I want to look at, Youngstown State. They defeated Loyola twice this year, but both in close games, 68-66 to and 60-59. to They also have had some issues with injuries this season. Many players have missed a game or two here and there. Now, they do have a Horizon League first teamer in Kendrick Perry, but he's missed the past three games due to a knee injury. It's unclear whether or not he will be back. They'll need a solid performance from him if he's back. If it's not going to be able to play for him, then they're going to have to rely on Defensive Player of the Year, Damian Ergel. The Penguins have some good players on their team, especially those two, Perry and Ergel. The question is, do they have the depth to be able to work through it, and the Perry injury is not going to help. They lost their season finale without him to a very balanced right state team by a final score of 72 to 45. Didn't look very good. So those two teams have a chance to go far, maybe make some noise, but in the end, it's going to be Detroit and Valparaiso, the two and one seeds. They each have a double buy for the Horizon League tournament, and they're the teams to look out for uh, in terms of who will make the NCAA tournament. Let's start with Detroit, the number two seed. They entered the tournament with a 20 and 11 record. And they have the fifth highest scoring offense in all of college basketball. They put up just shy of 79 points per game. And they're led by junior guard Ray McCallum, who puts up 19 points per game himself. The entire six-man Titans rotation is a threat both inside and out, all parts of the court. Nick Minarath, Jason Callisti, uh, Doug Anderson, they all shoot over 30% from three-point range. And all three of them also average 12-plus points per game. You can't key on any one player. All six in the rotation can score, and they can score at will. Now, Valparaiso, on the other hand, they have a couple guys who are who are the more dominant, uh, but they don't have as much uh, balance from top to bottom. They come into the tournament with a 24 and 7 record. Uh, they're led in both points and rebounds by Ryan Brockhoff, he's from Australia, and Kevin Van Van Wyck from the Netherlands. Now, Brockhoff is a 6'7 forward, but he's kind of like a Dirk Nowitzki type. He shoots from beyond the arc as well. He actually has a 43% shooting percentage from three-point range. That's pretty impressive that he can go down low and then pop out and do stuff like that. Now, Van Wick, on the other hand, he's all from the inside. He's also a senior, and he actually shoots 65% from the field. So he's almost automatic when he gets the ball down on the block. Now, the one advantage the Crusaders have is that they have depth. They'll go eight or nine deep whereas Detroit will only go maybe six uh, or seven deep consistently. In fact, only six people on the Titans roster have double-digit minutes per game this season. Now, Valpo and Detroit are definitely the picks to make the championship game. There's no doubt about that. They split their season series, and surprisingly enough, both teams won on the road. So this Horizon League home court advantage in the tournament may not be as important as one would think. And in the end, I am going to take the what would be the road team, Detroit, to win the automatic berth and to win the Horizon League tournament. Just due to the fact that they have the balance and the high-octane offense that I don't think Valparaiso is going to be able to keep up with in a do-or-die situation. And this would be similar to last year. Valpo won the regular season title, but the Detroit Titans came up with the victory in a conference tournament. I see the same thing happening again this year. Now, Valpo may have an outside shot as an at-large team, but they would need a lot of help. Uh, from other teams across the country, uh, teams like Kentucky who are on the bubble uh, as a big conference but may drop off if they suffer in the NCAA, or in their conference tournaments, I should say. 
More than likely, the Horizon League will be a one-bid conference, probably a 14-15 seed, whichever team makes it. Well, that's it for the analysis on the Horizon League tournament. Please follow us on Twitter at 3S Network. Keep tabs on our website, 360sportsnetwork.com, for all the updates leading up to Selection Sunday. Thank you for tuning in to the 3SN Road to the Final Four special. Stay tuned for future podcasts as we fill the field of 68 and help make your brackets the very best they can be. For 3SN, I'm James Dodson. Have a good night.